Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're taking a look into Leo's broken heart reading for the month of November. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies with the Romance Angel deck here. Then we are going to just dive right into the message. And in this message, Leo, we're going to look into your part of the problem, your partner's part in the problem, what each of you can do to fix or resolve this. Other influences, can it be saved, and is it worth it? We will clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Leo, what is going to come out for you guys? For the month of November 2020, please and thank you, Spirit, for Leo. Sounds like half the deck. I do feel like there is a person here that you're about to connect with, have a deep conversation about where this is all heading. romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so on your side here leo we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership and release your ex the time has come to clear your energy your person's side we have a heart to heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other and worth waiting for divine timing is that work in your love life? See here, Leo, that um, being called to release your ex, obviously. Okay. Open up to a new connection. Your partner's side, we see there's a heart to heart conversation coming in and worth waiting for. This could be for you or this could be the other person. This is, however, coming out as your partner or person of interest energy. And what I feel like this is talking about here, Leo, is somebody is going to um, express their true feelings to you here soon. So let's take a look here, Leo, and see what we can see for you guys for the month of November 2020. Please keep in mind guys, the messages on YouTube are general. Take what resonates and please leave the rest. And thank you. Also real quick, if you would like information on extended readings, energy cleanse kits that I offer, personal readings any other helpful useful information is all linked below yes i did say personal readings i now have a link where you can be added to the list for when time slots open up it'll be a first come first serve basis and i will have slots coming available here shortly so if that's something you're interested in check that out the link is below in the description box and leo if you like how i vibe you like how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel everyone's welcome and it does help set your intentions for future messages so let's see here leo work 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 let's see a little bit of confusion that I feel like that's going on here right now some withholding of energy Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. So, Four of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. And we're going to clarify this message here in a little bit, Leo. But I feel here that um, on your side, your energy, your temperance, the emperor coming out here. Now, these roles could be reversed. But I do feel here this is talking about um, balance and stability. I feel like maybe there was a little bit of uncertainty on your part, Leo. And maybe you were trying to control or manipulate a situation here. Mislead. And again, we're going to clarify this in a minute. On your person side, we have the Ten of Swords with the Knight, or the Page of Pentacles. So they've gone through something very tumultuous. This was a very intense ending for them because we have the Tower coming out in other influences as well. So I feel like this other person has definitely come to an end, but I feel like this person... Um, that you're channeling here, Leo, is still healing from whatever situation that they experienced, whatever situation they encountered. I do feel like they are, if there were other influences involved, you probably knew about it and they're moving forward from this. This has definitely come to an end. I feel like this is a final nail in the coffin ending. It's not just like, a, oh, I might talk to them later. Mm-mm this completely and utterly ended and again we're going to clarify this in a minute they want a new beginning with you here but it's like they're i don't know if they're conflicted here i feel like they may be triggered about past memories with whatever situation happened here this is a situation here Leo that there is a deep connection but this is gonna take a lot of work on both people's parts so everybody has to be on board with this and right now I feel like there is a lot of withholding it's a lot of withholding on both of your parts so let's take a look here Leo and the astrological signs we have coming out here Sagittarius we have Aries Okay, we have a water sign. We have a an earth sign, Cancer. The tower, everybody reads the cards differently. I read the tower as mutable signs. So, um, let's dive in. Please clarify the temperance here for Leo. This is coming out as your energy, Leo. I feel like you're really working on yourself here, trying to gain clarity. Going through some major changes, honestly, is what I see. This even could be like a situation where you're changing certain types of patterns in your life. So the way you perceive relationships, the way you perceive money, the way you approach um, your work or your home life, what have you. I feel like there's definitely big shifts, big transformations that are taking place. A person's definitely going through a major ending of a situation here that they, there was a lot of love that they had for this person that they're having to leave behind. That could be where the uncertainty is coming in here. Page of Pentacles. There's just a lot of heavy energy. You see the world card. It's all coming to an end here within this next, I don't know, month or so. 
a lot of people are going through big transformations. There's that Sagittarius energy again, but there's a lot of confusion, feeling guarded, feeling stuck. Two cards. King of Wands for the Page of Pentacles. They're definitely coming out as fire energy, Leo. Mm -hmm. Indecisive and withholding their energy. Ignoring opportunities. So there's still something that they're not revealing here, Leo. That they're holding back from expressing. That very well could be what the conversation is going to be about in the month of November. Chariot, the tower. Knight of Pentacles. Yep. So you're moving forward from this, or they're moving forward. Whoever had this heavy uh, energy, this person trying to control the situation that is gone that energy has been released now i feel like it's more your person's energy here that that's on um leo but this could be vice versa so i feel like if there was like an ex that they were having to release or um their ex wouldn't release them i feel like that's happening now What's finally happening? Mm -hmm. There's going to be a conversation about them moving away from this person. You're going to have an opportunity here, Leo, to either move this forward with them or put yourself first. So here's the thing, there's something that's hidden here. This could be another person that they're still dealing with other than this ex. Um, this could be them just having or holding on to certain things, behavior patterns, just not revealing everything about themselves. Okay, there's something that's hidden here with the moon card. You're needing to choose yourself put yourself first in this situation and I feel like it may be difficult because you may want this to work out or you may want this just a person to be there but I feel that this is one of those situations where you're being tested honestly by the universe are you going to repeat the cycle and continue that or are you going to kind of put your foot down now here's what I see there are romantic feelings here. This person is going to come around. They are going to mature. They're going to let go of that uncertainty. They're going to reveal these secrets. But you're going to have to stand your ground. You're going to have to put your foot down. Not allow them to be flighty or come in and out or hide things and still deal with them. Pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward, guys. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a look into what this person's intentions are moving forward. What is the potential outcome? If the guidance is followed. Is it, we'll take a little bit deeper look into what's hidden here. See if we can reveal any more information. We'll also pull out a few different oracle cards over there. Just all together dig a, digging a little bit deeper into the energy. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. The links are all below in the description box. The second link is to subscribe. So if it's something you're interested in, you can get all of the extended readings for all of the signs for $11. It's the second link. 
There's that King of Wands. King of Wands is a goal-oriented, business-minded, but it's also a person who's very passionate, who's very um, kind of emotion-driven. This is also your energy, Leo. There's definitely a need here to stand your ground and open up about how you're feeling, okay? How you're feeling about this connection. Now, if that is that you feel very happy, very uplifted about with this person, then express that. If you need space and you don't want to deal with them as much, express that. But there's definitely a need here to kind of come forward with how you feel. Definitely some big communication coming in for the month of November here, Leo. Um, just being prepared for that. So if this is resonating with you, having an idea, you know, what is it that you want to express to this person? Do you see a future with this person? Uh, how do you expect that you guys are going to get to that future? Maybe that's something that needs to be involved in that communication. If you don't see a future, then maybe that needs to be communicated. Let's get a Soul Journey card for you, Leo. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Your soul is spirit manifest in this physical dimension. Even though you may feel limited by the constraints of your body, your connection to the infinite wisdom of the universe is always available to you in the form of intuition. You're never alone when making any decision. Spirit only wants what's best for you. And by listening to your inner voice, you will always be guided to the proper outcome. All you have to do is ask. The expectations of others is only an illusion. You are not born to listen to fear. You are taught to listen to it. Visualize any decision in your life as a fork in the road. How does your body react when you imagine travels down each path? At first glance, one might seem easier to traverse, but the destination may cause anxiety and a heavy heart. Another path may be a little bit more difficult to walk but the destination will feel light and calm when you silence your mind and listen to your intuition the signposts will always be obvious definitely 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 trusting your intuition here i feel like this indecision is coming to an end and i feel like you're needing to stand your ground. So if this is for you, Leo, if you're changing your perspective on this indecision, then you need to stand your ground in that and say what you say, what you feel, say what's on your heart. Let's get a power thought card. I trust my inner wisdom. I go about my daily affairs. I'd listen to my own guidance. My intuition is always on my side. I trust it to be there at all times and I am safe. Beautiful, Leo, beautiful. So, Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.